Introduction to Metaphysics German, Einführung in die Metaphysik is a book by Martin Heidegger, published in Germany in 1953, of a revised and edited lecture course he gave in the summer of 1935 at the University of Freiburg. The work is famous for Heidegger's powerful reinterpretation of Greek thought, but has been widely regarded as fascist in character. Topic. Overview According to Heidegger, the fundamental question of metaphysics is, why are there beings at all instead of nothing? From this fundamental question Heidegger extracts a prior question about the relation to being, or, how does it stand with being? This is to be answered through an analysis of Greek poetry, the etymology of the word being and of the answers given by philosophers such as Parmenides, Heraclitus, Aristotle, and Immanuel Kant. To Heidegger, this question is not purely an academic endeavor, for metaphysics grounds an age, by giving that age the basis upon which it is essentially formed. The question thus inherently implicates the totality of human dacen, and is asked so as to restore the historical dacen of human beings back to the power of being that is to be opened up originally. This opens up the discussion of sociopolitical entanglements of dacen and Heidegger's notion of the inner truth and greatness of National Socialism. Topic. Reception Introduction to Metaphysics is famous for Heidegger's powerful reinterpretation of Greek thought and infamous for his acknowledgement of the Nazi Party. Julian Young writes that it is a work which even those sympathetic to Heidegger have generally considered fascist in character. Nevertheless, the work has also been seen as being critical of Nazism for being insufficiently radical and suffering from the same spiritual impoverishment as the Soviet Union and the United States. Topic. Academic reviews Introduction to Metaphysics was reviewed by the psychologist and philosopher Miles Groth in the Review of Metaphysics. Groth believed that the translation by Gregory Fried and Richard Polt would be more congenial to students of 20th century continental philosophy than the earlier English translation, but maintained that there were still important problems in Fried and Polt's attempt to make Heidegger's thought accessible. He wrote that their translation falters with peculiar renderings of several Heidegger's basic words in this text, considering their rendering of sign as being the most important example, and argued that there was no reason to leave Dason untranslated, and criticized the omission of Petra Yeager's afterward to the German edition, along with her detailed table of contents and related texts provided for the 1983 German edition. He described Heidegger's readings of Heraclitus and Parmenides as famously idiosyncratic, and his suggestion that they fundamentally agree as challenging. 